I've got this really pretty kind of ice covered cascade here uh, in the river in the park. It's really, really very pretty. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test. I'm going to start at F22 and I'm going to shoot the full stops down, F22 down to F8. I've got my timer set. I'm on a tripod. Uh, more of a realistic kind of landscape kind of photography I would do. And when I get back into the studio, I'll upload the images and I'll check the sharpness. On the top of the lens, uh, on the front dial, you've got your focus distance, and it starts at 0.7 feet, which is the closest focus. And at 0.7 feet, your depth of field is going to be pretty narrow. Now, on the other hand, if I close it all the way down to infinity, generally that's going to cause a fall off in sharpness. I find the best place to be, if I'm going to be at f8, is probably be about the five foot focus point, because if you look on the lens at five feet, you are pretty much in focus from about two and a half feet to infinity. So I think that's probably a good space to be. Uh, maybe cheat a little bit, a little bit past five feet. But if you go much wider than that, again, the depth of field is going to start to compress because you're, you're so close in order to do that kind of focus. So five feet or so. And again, this has got the old style markings on the lens where you see the aperture markings and the range that will be in focus. In fact, for example, if I were to go down to f16, I can get infinity. I can get from focus from one feet to infinity with this lens. Just looking at that. So if you don't have focus peaking or focus peaking isn't your thing, you can just go by this. And pretty much, if you're out in the landscape, if you set this at oh a little five feet or just a little bit past you can be pretty sure that everything from about three feet to infinity is going to be in focus. So that'll make it really simple. So I'm going to get a couple more shots while I'm here and uh, I'm going to do that same test again, F8 up to F22 and let's see what it looks like. So the last thing I'm going to test while I'm here is I put filters on here. And again, that's one of the beauties of this lens, 15 millimeters, yet it accepts filters. I've got a uh, circular polarizer. It's the Nissi uh, Natural Enhanced uh, Circular Polarizer Filter. And then on top of that, I've got the 100 millimeter filter holder, which has a three-stop ND filter on it. Because what I'm after is I'm going to get some blurry water flowing down through here. And one of the reasons for that is I think it'll be a good test or a good illustration of sharpness because you'll have the flowing water, the blur of that, contrasting with the sharpness of the rocks and the ice and the moss around it. So that'll be the final test. Again, I'll do the same thing. I'll shoot from F8 or from F22 down to F8 and uh, we'll see what we get. But so far, so good. The lens is a joy to use and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So let's take a look at the results when we get back to the studio.